Hey, Christy, are you busy? Kinda. I'm at work right now, but it's not too hectic. What's up? I've been going through the cabinets, and I can't find the milk. The milk? I don't think your milk is in your cabinets. You use liquid milk, so the bottles must be in the fridge. I'm not talking about my milk, dummy. I know you and my son only take powdered milk, so where is it? I can't find it in the cabinet. What cabinet, Patty? Are you in our house? Damn, you are so slow, aren't you? Of course I'm at your house. How else would I know that the milk isn't in your cabinet? Well, I just wasn't expecting you today. Tristan didn't tell me you were coming. Am I supposed to ask permission before coming to my son's house? No, it's not that. But a heads up would have been nice. Besides, how do you even get in? With my key. It's how I always get in. Now, where is the milk? We ran out of milk, okay? So we're yet to restock on that. Tell me though, what do you mean by always get in? Seriously? Why are you acting like this is the first time I'm at your house? Hold on. You've been coming into our house while Tristan and I are at work? Why would you do that? I don't get this. Can't I come to relax here? Or do I need to fill out paperwork and cut through red tape before I can spend time in my son's house? That's not what I'm saying, and you know it. It's best to let us know so we can be prepared. That's all. Besides, what if something happens to you while you are alone in the house? I don't have to explain anything to you. I guess I'll have to take these flakes like that. Flakes? Why do you need that? You don't even like flakes. Talking to you is like talking to a rock. Why else do you think I needed the milk? I have actually started taking flakes since the last time I came here and found nothing to eat but flakes. Anyway, since you don't have it, I'll do with something else in the kitchen. My God. Is this why a lot of things have been going missing in my house these past few months? I should have known this when Tristan was not interested in looking for them. I just help myself to some food when I'm around, as any normal guest would. Why are you making a big deal out of it? It's not a big deal, but Tristan and I have been having lots of arguments over these missing items. I wanted us to set up a camera, but he refused. Why would he agree to that? You have been quite rude since we started this chat. Tristan will hear of your nasty behavior. Christy, why, why were you rude to my mom? I was? When? You even called her a thief. How dare you? I didn't do that, Tristan. We had some words. That is it. I never insulted her. Why would I do that? I knew it. You never actually liked my mom in the first place. I shouldn't be surprised by this. What do you mean? You have never liked her coming over to our place. It's as if you hate her. And you wonder why I don't tell you these things. Tristan, she's your mother. I would never stop her from coming to our house. It's just that her visits are not something I look forward to. You know how bossy she can be. The other day, she tried to make me stay home from work just so I could give her a foot massage. Before that, she bought three blenders for her friends and charged them to my credit card without even telling me. As if that wasn't enough, she tried to make me deliver them myself to their respective destinations. Seriously, all you know how to do is complain. My mother loves you, you know that. Why are you being so strung up? Now my mom is home by herself crying because you hurt her. Why don't you ever do as she asks? You're not even listening to what I'm saying, are you? When it comes to your mother, you never listen to a word I say. She's my mother, and you're the one trying to come between us. I'm your wife, and I'm not trying to come between you guys. I'm just saying that from time to time, a heads up would be nice. I don't like being kept in the dark, and I am pretty sure that you wouldn't like it if people spent your money without your permission. Anyway, I'm more careful with my card now, so it won't happen again. My mother is more important than your petty likes and dislikes. Honestly, I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, that is obvious now. Can we talk about something else? When will you be coming back home? I'll be late. Mom left the house a few minutes ago, so I have to go spend some time with her, seeing as someone made her mad for some dumb reason. Okay, just don't stay out too late. <laughs> Whatever. Talk to you later. Christy, are you busy? I need a favor. What's up? My house is getting kind of old, you know? It is? 
Tristan and I were there three months ago and it still looks very nice. Everything is in good shape. Well, almost everyone in the neighborhood is renovating their houses. Compared to theirs, my house looks old and decrepit. Those people probably have a good reason for renovating their houses. Anyway, you can slap some paint on it and it'll be as good as new. I don't want to slap some paint on it. I want to renovate it. Patty, renovation is a big thing and it costs a lot of money. Are you sure about this? Yeah, that's why I'm here. I need financial assistance for this. Okay then, later tonight I'll have a chat with Tristan and we'll see how much we can chip in to support you. Chip in? What do you mean by that? I mean that we are happy to support you to the best of our ability. Between the two of us, we can raise at least a quarter of the renovation costs. A quarter? Christy, I need you to fund the entire renovation. Me? Where would I see such an amount of money? Come on, I know you have it. I saw your bank statement. You have nothing less than $100,000 sitting in your account. My bank statement? How did you even find it? I don't leave such things lying around. Did you go through my things? Why would you do that? Don't change the subject. You're going to renovate my house for me, and that is final. Patty, you can't make me do that. You don't even know what the money's for. All I know is that my house will be renovated. You'll see. I'm done with this conversation. Patty, come back. Patty. Christy, what is this I'm hearing from my mom? What did you hear? Is it true you have money I don't know about? How do you have over $100,000 and you kept it from me? Wow, so Patty told you. <laughs> Was she supposed to keep such a thing to herself? Where did that money come from? Did you commit a crime or something? My God, how can you think such a thing of me? That money belongs to my sister. It's her share of our inheritance and I'm the one holding on to it for her until she comes of age. From there, I pay for her tuition and you know she has a heart condition. Money for her upkeep also comes from there. Wow. So you see why the money can't be touched? My sister needs it. Is this why you refuse to help out my mom when she's in need? You just have to take out only a little. Before the money runs out, we'll return it. Why is that so difficult? No, I can't do that. From taking only a little, we'll find ourselves taking more and more until the money runs out. You know we won't be able to afford her tuition and medical expenses. So that money is going nowhere. You're just being stubborn and selfish, you know. My mom is in a state of need and you're the only one that can help her. And yet, you refuse to do so. Tell me, Tristan, why does she need the renovation anyway? There is nothing wrong with her house. She's only doing it because her neighbors are doing it. Do you want my mom to be a laughingstock in her neighborhood? I'm still not touching the money. <laughs> You'll be funding the renovation, Christy. If not, be ready to sign divorce papers. What? Is this a threat? I just can't be with someone who has no regard for my mom. So you do this or you and I are over. You're really serious about this? If you want to stay married to me, you know what to do. Hey, Christy love, how are you doing? I've been holding up. What about you? Well, I'm covered in dust and debris from head to toe, lol. Why? Did something happen? Well, it's the renovation I told you about. My house has been torn down and the contractors are waiting for their deposit before they begin work. So, can you send the money? Let's get the show on the road. Um, what money? Are we going through this again? I don't have the time, you dummy. I have no business with you and your renovation. It's no longer my problem. I can see Tristan is yet to tell you, but we're getting a divorce. A divorce? Why? So many obvious reasons. And the fact that I called his bluff. This doesn't make any sense. You can't divorce him. What about my house? Without the deposit, these guys won't work on it. That is not my problem, Patty. I didn't tell you to tear down your house. Right from the start, I made it clear I wasn't going to put a penny into the project. So, what do I do now? Well, I'll leave that to you and your son to figure out. Christy, did you have to go and tell my mom about the divorce? You and I are no longer together. 
Why are you keeping it from her? I was giving you time to change your mind. Change my mind? Why would I want to do that? See, I, I didn't mean what I said when I threatened to divorce you. You don't have to do this. You know how these things are. Why would you take it so seriously? Actually, the threat opened my eyes, and I saw clearly for the first time what you and your mom have been putting me through. I've had to endure so much from the two of you, and it's been draining me. It's clear you both don't value me, and the best option was to leave. Don't say that. I, I value you. You know that. Come back home, please. We can talk about this. There's nothing to talk about, Tristan. You and I are done. Okay, but can you at least pay for the renovation? It's the least you can do. My mother's already started it. I just fund it so the workers will begin the main work. And still, it's all about what you can get from me. Just like I told your mother, there's nothing I'll be doing to help you. You both need to figure out this problem for yourself. I'm done. Goodbye, Tristan. You can't just leave like that. Christy! The divorce proceedings took about three months to be finalized. And after that, I was able to move on with my life. I took good care of my sister and made sure she didn't lack anything that had to do with her education or medical health. Last I heard of my ex, he and his mom were living together and I wish them the best. I focused only on building myself and growing in my career. There was always so much for me to do that it was a bit difficult for me to socialize. However, three years later, I fell in love with a man who loved me to the moon and back. We'll be getting married next month. I'm grateful things worked out for me.